Right, you'll have to uh, excuse the sweat and being out of breath, but uh, I've just come down. <clears throat> what you can see behind me is uh, an air shaft uh, coming into a nuclear bunker that's abandoned just on the outskirts of some woodlands. Um, I'll show you that in there in a minute. Um, but first, just a quick one, uh, Olight have sent me two uh, of their new models. Uh, well, one new model and one change. Um, they have another flash sale starting on the 28th of this month. That's only in a few days time. Um, if, if you're a VIP member on their website, you get early access on the 24th, which should be tomorrow if I get this out later today. Uh, but yeah, 28th at 8 p.m. for every, for every normal uh, purchase. So they have sent the i3T, which is a lovely um, remote pressure switch, two lights, low, high. These I've got three of these using myself. This is just in a red edition. But, and this is what's really nice, they have brought out the new Warrior Mini. And the nice thing about the Warrior Mini is it's got both the new magnetic charge uh, pressure switch on the back so you can get into it like that but it also has their classic side switch there which if I turn it on you see the little green glowing light there to tell you so yeah green indicator to tell you if it's charged low or really low um, <clears throat> now last year they sent me the Sika 2 Pro I still maintain and that for last year that was their best model this year I think this is their best model this year because if you're both an EDC guy or you need a working light for coming into bunkers, this is the light for you this year. Really do recommend these. They come in the desert tan, which I have here. They come in black, and there's also a limited edition camouflage pattern. Now, you can buy this on its own and get 30% off, or you can buy this on its own and get 20% off. But if you buy both together, you get 40% off. So honestly, I really do recommend it. Go over to this, well, check the link below. I have a link and they've been kind enough to give me our own coupon code. But you have to use the link below. Use the link below, use the coupon SIMON10 and get yourself a wicked bargain. But anyway, enough about this. Let's go and check out this bunker. So let me turn you around and we'll go in and we'll have a look at this place and I'll explain some of the history. Right, so as I explained a moment ago, <sighs> just come out of what would have been part of the ventilation system. So air would have either been pumped out or in via this part, and you can see these holes in the wall here. We'll go into this room in a moment when we get down into the bunker. Um, but typically, this would have been sealed here by this door, which is would have been fully airtight, and it would have circulated maybe down this shaft, through the filtration room, and then up another one of these shafts which we'll see in a minute. But if I turn you around, um, now this would have been the original door in, but it is well and truly stuck. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna go into the bunker. Uh, we'll turn the Warrior Mini on, give you some extra light down there. As you can see, look at the thickness of that door. This is definitely nuclear. There's nothing Second World War about this at all. Let's just get through this door because I think this is the only rubbish we have to contend with. Oh, right, here we go. So we've got another huge blast door here and you can already see more modern uh, electrics here. And this door I think is going to go to that filtration room that I told you. God, these are heavy. They're, they're about a foot thick. That's awesome. Does this still work? So, yeah. So we could lock all these doors, but I'll leave it as I found it. So in here, oh, there's a lot of oil in here. You can smell it straight away. <coughs> oh, that's disgusting, actually. So what have we got here? So we've got a lot of, right, so this is a lot, uh, oh, okay, hold on. So judging by the smell and the state of this and that little tap there, this would have been for uh, bunker oil or fuel oil, as it may have been called. Depends who you ask. And then this here, you've got a plinth. So this would have had a generator on it or a combined generator filtration system. And then here we have the shaft going up, which will, ah, look. <laughs> okay. So somebody's clearly been using this in the past to uh, grow weed. 
But let's open this and see if it goes to an identical shaft. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, yeah, look. So these are the one-way valves. I'll see if I can get a better look. So, yeah, this is basically a one-way valve. So if the pressure was lost and it stopped sucking or blowing, these would close and prevent any radioactive dust or fallout getting into the bunker. But oh, look, they've capped the top off with wood. So why didn't they do it to the other one, I wonder? So let's keep going. So, oh, yeah, I just can't get over the size of these. But anyway, some history on this place. So during the height of the Cold War, uh, the water company in the southeast decided to build three nuclear bunkers. Um, someone's having a laugh. Yeah, they decided to build three nuclear bunkers which they could control the southeast water supply during the Cold War if we were ever attacked by the Soviet Union. And here, I'm guessing this is an electrical distrib... Ah, okay. We have another shaft with another one-way valve, but that one's blocked with concrete. That's very strange. We've definitely got electrical distribution in here, and as you can see, those fuses are far more modern. Way more modern, but at the bottom, we also have some slightly older ones, but still not that old. So yeah, definitely a newer bunker, this. But obviously, the local kids have come in and trashed the place with graffiti. Uh, okay. So, one-way valves, where you've got a socket for a shaver. Uh, could this have been a combined shower slash decontamination room? Would make sense. Uh, all right. Another empty room with nothing in it, so perhaps an office. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. More evidence of an illegal drug grow. Uh, all the sockets are upside down to make it easier to put the cables up for the hydroponics. Uh, we'll keep going. What do we have in this? Okay, different brickwork, but again, just a bare room. You can see where all the cabling went through, it's not very... <laughs> I suppose it's easier just to leave a hole than to drill through a wall, but they seem to have done that further down there, up top. Um, did we see this room? No, so another empty room. More offices and equipment, maybe, communications? Now, the only thing I do know so this is the largest room, more evidence of a drug grow there, uh, and on the walls by the looks of it with these sockets, uh, more sockets, because uh, yeah, back when this had power, um, yeah, people set up an illegal grow down here, but in this, in this spot here, if I back up, there's a big Faraday cage here which protected the electrical equipment from the EMP generated by a nuclear explosion. So that's quite cool. And then lastly here, uh, just as thick as the uh, bigger doors, let's get it open. Oh, oh my God. What, ah, uh, hold on. No, not that one. There's that one, which one? Can't see which one's causing it. It's got to be that bottom one, hasn't it? Unless they've deliberately sealed it. Let me see if, if we put a bit of... Oh, up. No. That has been well and truly jammed. Uh, but basically, that would have been the emergency escape shaft that would have gone up to the surface so that if the, uh, the, uh, the main entrance was obstructed in any way, you had a second way out. But that's it. Shame about the graffiti. I wish I could buy this place. I'll turn it into a house. Yeah, I'm going to come out of that main room because it's way too echoey in there. Um, but yeah, this was a nice little nuclear bunker. Uh, makes a bit of a difference some of the Second World War stuff. Um, but yeah, remember though, the new Warrior Mini 
definitely my recommendation of um, 2020's O-Lights. Very good, tail switch, multiple outputs, uh, 1,500 lumen maximum output to be uh, spot on. And yeah, so use the link below with the coupon code SIMON10. Coupon code only works in that link. So get over, get up to 40% off when you get this and the i5T. They've also got lots of other things on the site as well. Um, if you want a small head torch or one that clips onto your jacket with a Velcro strap, um, they've got the, the new Perron Mini in Desert Tan. I've got one of those, bought it myself, wasn't sent it. Um, and I use it every day on the back of my bag. Um, you'll probably see it in some of, some of our videos of me walking along, you'll see it on the back of my bag. Um, but yeah, this is my new EDC for every day. This thing's brilliant. So go grab a bargain and thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Cheers.